Hey guys, today we'll show you how do we integrate our Oracle into our Lightning protocol. So currently what you're seeing is our uh, main page homepage for currencies. So basically in here, you'll see uh, the list of uh, assets. Basically that's, uh, we're fetching the price for our Lightning protocol. So uh, currently you can see uh, here, uh, the updated timestamp basically is roughly within 10 minutes. So. Our, uh, around every 10 minutes will refresh the price or unless the price is fluctuating uh, significantly. At the same time, we'll see what are the data sources for each uh, asset currency. So currently, for example, for Kona, we are fetching from these different uh, data sources. So, uh, so basically here is a summary page and then you can uh, toggle to summary to see what are the currencies, all are the subscriptions that you have under your account, current wallet account. So previously we have seen uh, how we can make a subscription based on a uh, solid contract. So we are running on Moonbeam. So previously we only mentioned, uh, mentioned it. Now we actually have implemented and tested. So here is how we'll walk you through how do we make a subscription and push it to our chain, to our landing protocol. So I think you have never seen, maybe, maybe some of you have seen this. This is our, uh, first version of a landing protocol. So this is outdated. Later we'll migrate them fully to our floating rate land here tab. So we'll integrate well with our new UI, which should uh, look much, much more professional. So anyway, you see here, we have the price of DOT. So currently you see the price is uh, $31 uh, around there. And currently we don't have uh, any price feed for, uh, for ETH. Uh, because currently we don't we don't have a subscription yet. So later, uh, the outcome of this demo is to see that uh, we can just make a subscription using our substrate client, and then we can push the price fee, and then we all have the uh, feed uh, uh, the price updated here, and then we can make transactions from there on our land portal. So okay, so let's just get started. So uh, if you want to make a subscription, we can choose to, for example, key in uh, substrate. So this is where uh, where we can basically key in our substrate uh, chain information. So let's go ahead and type uh, our chain name is, prior chain name is column. And then our URL is, I think, Okay, and then our feed ID, basically this is where it has to be tricky because it's our own pilot. So yeah, uh, every uh, single feed, we need an ID. So here the dot in our system is uh, one, uh, uh, two is ETH. So in that case, if you wanna key in, you have to subscribe to that particular feed, you must ensure it's two. So this is uh, basically, uh, user input. So uh, currently, because um, when a user input the data, it's very sub easy to subject to error. So in that case, uh, we'll have a new governance protocol, which will come up, uh, which probably will do next, is to ensure the we let the community review the inputs from uh, from the users so that we ensure the correctness of, our, uh, of the inputs. But anyway, our system also has some kind of checks uh, behind the scene, but that, that would be uh, much slower, not as uh, effective as uh, the community governance. Okay, anyway, so once we have the inputs and then we can select the currency that I wanna subscribe. So basically, uh, for example, uh, I think we wanna subscribe ETH. So in this case, we can select the, I mean, you can, of course you can select more currencies that you wanna subscribe to, but currently for now, we just keep it simple. We'll just use ETH as a demo. And then aggregation strategy basically is, uh, we have two, so we can choose simple average or choose T1. So, uh, I think that in the last demo that we might, we have, uh, we only showed uh, simple average. Now we have a T warp, so we can aggregate different strategies. So, and then we can choose the list period. Uh, basically, is how how long you can have uh, to for for the for the list period uh, for how long you want to subscribe. Subscribe. So currently we can select one week or one month. So let's just stick to one week, and then uh, we can click sub subscribe. But here you might be cute. You might have a question that you want to know what are the data sources that you have subscribed to. So because we are running on, uh, for example, ETH is already registered in the system. So in that case, uh, whatever we have typed in basically is following the the different currencies that 
that is shown above. So in this case, if you want to customize your subscription, you can toggle over to manual input currencies. So basically what, what this means, you can, for example, subscribe to e Ethereum and click next. You can actually choose the different data sources that you want. For example, I want to subscribe to all. So then you can, uh, or, or maybe pancakes or well sushi swap, but currently these two we haven't implemented yet. So then that's why they don't have an image. But anyway, in, in the future, you can choose to choose the, the data sources that you want. And then you can subscribe basically uh, just easily, very easily on this website. And then you can choose, similarly, you can choose the aggregation strategy. So uh, probably for now, we'll just use T1 because it's, it's uh, significantly better than the, the simple average. So anyway, uh, similarly, we can choose the list period. So uh, for now, I'll just click submit and uh, well, let, uh, okay, it's contract interaction and then I'll click confirm and then let's wait for the transaction to pass, to, to finish. Okay. Just wait. Okay, now we have transaction confirmed. So let's just see, uh, maybe we, yeah, maybe we don't, we cannot have an ether scan. So get the transaction hash and uh, take a look. Okay, so basically this is our subscription event. So basically it just passing the success. So that means uh, it's registered. Uh, it's already in the system, it's, it's emitting an event. So let's go back to our website. Uh, okay, now if we go back to uh, our previous, uh, our summary page, we'll see we have a new subscription now, which is uh, ETH. So we just wait for this to, uh, for wait, wait a while, give it some time for it to be published. And then later we'll see, uh, for example, subsequently, we can see the price fee being constantly pushed to our chain. So uh, after a while, we'll see the price of here uh, to, to have uh, been popped up. Okay, now we have, you see, now we have the price already pushed over. So uh, uh, the next thing happened by right, we should constantly go back to our, our, to your chain to verify that we have the results. So anyway, so in this case, users can just specify their power chain and then we'll push the price over uh, if you have our uh, subject client in store. So anyway, let's go, go, go to uh, this demo website. Oh, uh, there you go. In, uh, just wait. Okay, now you can see the price of uh, ETH is already pushed over to the chain. And then that means constantly every around like five to 10 minutes will push the price over. And then you'll see uh, basically that the feeds uh, come in regularly. So in this case, we can toggle over to ETH and then we can supply, for example, our uh, ETH into uh, uh, into the chain, uh, into our, our your pool, depending on our system, because of our chain, if we don't have any, for example, any uh, price fee, then our, 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 our transaction will not pass. So in this case, we just wait for, uh, once there is a price fee, then we can uh, uh, basically uh, start lending and borrowing. So in this case, we just have to wait for the transaction to pass. So currently you can see uh, our, our UI is actually quite outdated and we are still in this blocking. But anyway, we'll migrate over to our new UI and then everything will be updated. So just wait for the transaction to be done. Okay, so in that case, we, we have fully, uh, for example, supply into the chain. And for example, you can see uh, this is the actually the amount of uh, ETH that I just subscribed. Basically, it's, it's quite a little. Amount. So basically, the liquidity of the pool has already increased. So anyway, I can start to borrow some DOT uh, and then, uh, and, and, and then uh, but no one has applied yet. Uh, anyway, so in this case, this has uh, finished the whole end-to-end -end demo of how we can make a subscription and then we can constantly push it uh, simply by keying some information, making a subscription on our, our UI and then we can push the price fee to your chain. So I think that concludes the whole thing.